A decades-old tradition in the hands of a new generation. The Larrakia people have been raising their flag since the 1970s, a symbolic call for rights and recognition. 16-year-old Rihanna gained strength from her elders. I'm absolutely proud to be Larrakia. My uncles, my aunties, my, my nana and my pops, they've all done something really big and I'm really proud of them. Her grandfather, Richard Fijo, is a renowned Indigenous leader from a long bloodline of advocates. We carry very strongly the history of our parents, of our grandparents, and the struggles they went through. And this is what fuels the fire in us. But this NAIDOC week, he's reflecting on how change comes slowly, with calls from his elders still unanswered. It's making him question what's going wrong. To have treaty, we actually have to have two parties that are sitting equally at the table. And I don't think Aboriginal people and First Nations people are currently sitting equally at the table with the rest of Australia. Younger generations are wondering whether a change in tact is needed. Less talk, more action. I want to go out there and I want to help and I want to learn what they need help with and what they want to do to make their community better. Treaty may be an end result but treaty might be 5, 10, 20 years down the road. What we need to focus on is also now, what's happening now around us and, and the disadvantage that we're facing today. As an election looms, the major parties have drawn their lines in the sand. The CLP say they'll scrap treaty altogether, while Labor have promised to revive treaty talks of their own. But for now, treaty in the Northern Territory remains in limbo. Isabella Tolhurst, ABC News, Darwin.